Now that we've created our loop for 123 Main Street, how do we have this divided out? Because you can see there's a lot of different documents here, several different folders. Well, with our compliance here, it's a little bit different than other companies. Other companies might be okay with agents submitting documents the day of closing. Hey, you've worked a transaction, submit everything the day of closing, all good. However, we have found that there are a lot of legal issues that can be present when brokerages wait until the day of closing to review everything. Or it looks awkward to go back and say, hey, sellers, uh, we forgot to get this signed correctly, even though it was 90 days ago. Can you go back and sign this because I need to get paid today? So instead, we like to break up the entire transaction into bite-sized pieces. That way for you as the agent as well, it makes it easier to submit things as you go. As you experience different uh, situations or different timelines within an entire transaction, you can submit those for compliance. That way, the day of closing, you don't have to rush. We're, you're not calling us to say, hey, I've never submitted my documents, but I need to get paid in an hour. We want to make each other's lives easier. So this is how we've divided compliance. So you can look at I selected listing template for a residential property. Now, what we've done is we have several different folders. This says listing docs, submit within 48 hours of signing. Offer docs, submit within 48 hours of bound agreement. Mid-transaction, commission payout form, submit at least three days before closing. And closing docs, submit within 48 hours after closing. Now, there's a couple different things to be uh, aware of with these different folders. So listing docs, this means in this folder, only upload listing docs into this folder. Sometimes there's earnest money receipts up here. Sometimes there's accepted contracts, closing docs. In this folder, we want to stick to the heading. So only listing docs are uploaded into this specific folder. Now there is a different uh, layout on the mobile app for DotLoop. And I've seen when you upload a bunch of documents on your phone, it can tend to just lump everything into the top folder. So you wanna make sure if you're using the mobile app for DotLoop, log into the desktop version, laptop, tablet, computer, log into that version and make sure that you don't have documents where they shouldn't be. So listing docs. Now, the second part of this, submit within 48 hours of signing. Now, why do we put that there? Well, these different timelines to submit documents are guidelines to you as the agent. So let's say, for example, it might take three, four, five days to get the seller to sign everything. Maybe they're waiting to discover some things on the property condition disclosure that takes longer to fill out. Maybe the wire fraud, they just missed a couple of signatures. So that is okay from us for compliance if you don't meet that 48 hour of signing uh, timeline that we put up here. But these are just guidelines. So as soon as you get everything signed, submit for review. Now to help you have a perfect compliance file, you don't want to submit stuff if you only have signatures say on this first document and nothing else and submit for review because everything else is just going to be returned back to you as the agent. So you want to submit folders when you have a complete folder and try to stick to the guidelines that we present within 48 hours of signing. That way, we are almost your impromptu, not attorneys, but kind of attorneys. We're not licensed attorneys, but when you submit stuff for reviews, we've seen so many uh, hundreds and hundreds of transactions and we have an attorney on retainer. So we know the biggest pitfalls to look for in these legal documents. Because at the end of the day, these are legal forms that parties are signing off on. Might as well have us check them as soon as possible to make sure you are protected legally. So that is the system for submitting things for review. When I am done with this entire listing doc folder, I would hit submit for review up here in the top right hand corner. Now you can instantly hit submit for review. You can check which folder you want to submit to compliance to check out. So let's say listing docs, submit. Now it's going to block me because I haven't done anything. I haven't made any changes. I don't have any signatures. So Dotlook does a really good job to filter through and tell agents what needs to be uploaded or fixed before you submit for review. Now, over here, you will notice required versus optional. So with required line items, something has to be filled out and signed in this required line item in order to submit for review. If no change is made to a required document and you try to hit submit for review, it will block you. So make sure you have all the required items done. Now you can see also there's a difference between bold text and a grayed out version down here. So whenever there's a bold text item, that means that there is something already in that placeholder. Think of each of these as a placeholder. So there's something here, but there is not something here, signed MLS sheet. 
So on a listing, for example, what good practice is for our real estate agents is when you are creating a listing in your MLS, whether it's an incomplete, a draft, coming soon, or even active, we want you to save a copy of that, upload that PDF into DotLoop, and add seller signature boxes on that piece of paper from the MLS. Now, why do we do that? Well, it's a really good practice to protect you as a real estate agent. That way, others can't claim you misrepresented the property, you stated something that's incorrect, because you've had a seller sign off confirming that everything is accurate of what you put into the MLS. Now, with compliance, we will not prevent you from going live with a listing. So if you at least at a bare minimum have this signed off on, you're still waiting on a couple of these other documents and you go active with the listing, that is okay. However, again, try to, within 48 hours of everything being signed, submit this for review to us. That way we can double check you.